Hi everyone, this is Ada. Today I'm answering a question on what are the most iconic handbags that you should have in your collection that will never date. Hi everyone, I have a question which I'm really glad that I got this question from Lady Dior who wanted to know what she should invest her money in that won't date and I'm a handbag addict so I was really happy to do this. I've done a bit of research on years and when these um, iconic bags first were put on the market. So I just want to say what I've done to pick my iconic uh, bags are I've looked back in history. So first I've looked at the history of the bag how long the bag's been around. This is by no means the whole list of all classic bags, but I had to um, only pick a certain amount and then go with that. So off we go. And I'd like, um, before I start, I'd like a lot of women to have some feedback on this because I'm sure I've missed some of the iconic ones that you think might be iconic. So let's start a discussion as we all love handbags or most of the um, YouTube community ladies love handbags. And before I go on, I'm just going to say most of these bags, if you want to keep them for years, should be bought in black or the traditional uh, first colour that the company designed them in. Number one is the Speedy by Louis Vuitton. So the Speedy came out in 1930 and it came out in the 30 centimetre. But in 1965, Audrey Hepburn wanted a smaller bag and so she asked for a 25 centimetre to be commissioned. Now it is Louis Vuitton's first small handbag and it is the most profitable for the company. So definitely a Speedy would be on an, the iconic list because it has been around for so long. Number two is the Lady Dior bag by Dior or Christian Dior. And this bag has a lot of history around it as well because Princess or Lady Diana went over to France and the First Lady of France gave her this bag uh, as a gift in 1995. So if you look back in history and look at a few pictures of Lady Di, you'll see her carrying that bag. So that is one I definitely want to get into my collection. Once again, black would be a good colour to get it in. Number three is one I have just recently purchased myself and that is the bamboo top handle. So the bamboo top handle has been around in since about 1947 and this bamboo became part of their uh, design because the war was not quite finished and there was a scarcity on um, products or produce I should say like leather so they weren't a lot of to, uh, allowed to make a lot of um, bags and they needed to find a, a product or an item that was going to finish off their bags. So they patented this bamboo and heated it and made sure that it kept its shape. So ever since then, Gucci has been known for the bamboo handle and also because they sold to the aristocrats who had a lot of horses the saddlebag shape was in and once again black is probably the best color to buy it in and all of these bags that I'm now showing you uh, have been made in many varying different colors now but they've been around for a long time so that is number three number four is by Gucci as well and it is the Jackie Hobo bag and the Jackie Hobo bag has been around from the 1960s and it was carried by Jackie Kennedy Onassis and um, a lot of other celebrities have also carried that. So 1960s, been around a long time, once again, comes in a lot of variety of different leathers and canvases as well. Number five is the Hermes Kelly bag. And I love the history of this Kelly bag. I mean, everyone loves Grace Kelly. This bag was made for her and she had quite a few made in different colors and what I love about it as well is that she when she was pregnant and she wanted to sort of cover her bump she used it to shield her baby bump before her little princess came along so I love the history of that 
Number six is also by Hermes and it is the Birkin bag. Who hasn't heard of the Birkin bag? The standard Birkin bag starts at 12,000 and the history with the Birkin bag is that Jane Birkin, who was a singer actress, was on a flight with the CEO of Hermes at the time, 1984, I believe. And she was telling him that she could not find a good looking bag, a good looking leather bag, just to take away for the weekend. So she didn't want a huge bag, but she didn't want a small bag. So he went and designed that and it has taken off ever since. And I believe there are waiting lists for the bag. And I mean, that 12,000, it just goes up. If you get it in crocodile or anything, more expensive, yes. And they have also controlled uh, the making of these bags or the selling of these bags. So they are in high demand and they will always be in high demand. And I believe the first one was made in black. So once again, if you're going to invest, a black one would be fantastic. Number seven is, I do have one of these, but it's not the original one, but I'm going to say the Chanel flat bag because they did come in singles, they came in doubles, this is a double. But anytime you invest in a Chanel flap, you will not go wrong. So this is the jumbo one here, and the history behind this is obviously Coco Chanel, and the chains were made as a reference to her convent days, when she lived in a convent, and the ladies or the caretakers of the convent used to carry their keys on a chain that would hang down near their waist, obviously to open all the different rooms. And also the color in here is the burgundy and that was her uniform that she wore in the home where she lived. So as you will, most people know Chanel bags. I mean, I, this bag has already gone up a thousand dollars since I purchased it. So you're never going to uh, go wrong with a Chanel bag. Number eight is also by Louis Vuitton and it is the Alma bag. Now the Alma bag actually was comm commissioned for Coco Chanel and I think that was in 1925 um, but it was launched onto the market in the 1930s. So once again, been around a long time, has a very distinct shape, very classic, also carried by a lot of ladies, that uh, iconic ladies in history. So. Never go wrong with that. Once again, comes in all different canvases and patterns and colors. So the armor bag. Number nine is also by Louis Vuitton and it is the Noé bag. And I do have a small one of these and it is the second oldest bag in the Louis Vuitton house. And it was originally commissioned by a champagne house owner. He wanted a sturdy bag that looked good so he can put bottles of champagne in it to take it to clients' houses. So that, and it had to fit four champagne bottles that stood one way and the other one that stood the other way. And also the name of the no way, which um, I was surprised to find out was from the biblical Noah who liked to drink wine. Apparently he must've been a good drinker. <laughs> so. Now there are two, so that's the end of my iconic bags, but I do have two on my list that I think really are classics or will become classics. And they are the Chanel Boy bag, because I think it still is that classic shape. It's a more modernized version of the flat bag. And I really think that's going to be around for a long time. And I was speaking to someone in Chanel and they said they're going to think about making that on their classic list. All the young girls uh, love that bag. And the other one I'm going to put on the list is, even though it hasn't been around that long, is the Neverfull. The Neverfull by Louis Vuitton, which now comes in all, all the different color canvases and also the leathers. Um, this is mine here. I do have two of these already. So this is mine here in the blue. And the reason I'm going to put this on the list is because after the Speedy, this is made Louis Vuitton lots of money. So it was only supposed to be in their, in their collection for a while, but it did so well. And also I think it came about in, it was 2007. So it has been around for 10 years. And I think it's going to stay around because it's a classic taupe shape 
and women want something that looks good from a designer company and also that they can carry and go to the beach, go to the park, go shopping and just carry it um, over their shoulder. So they are my picks, but like I said, obviously that's not the end of um, iconic bags. I'm sure some ladies might have a few more. So let me know, but thanks to Lady Dior because I really enjoyed doing that um, question for you. If you like this video, please subscribe, push like, and follow me on Instagram. And don't forget, everyone, Ada Love Style. See you again next time. Bye.